What's this place called? This is called Castle Rock. Wow. It's also called Cotty's Castle. Cotty's Castle. In a minute, I'll show you why they call it well, Castle Rock. The, the, the river is like a mile away from here. Okay, I don't know where the hell we are going, but uh, this is suddenly interesting. <laughs> look at those trees, my friend. Wow, look at that. This is quite a hike, eh? Tree after tree. Man, this guy called Paul Cisco has brought me here. I don't know where the heck we are. <laughs> we are trying to do... Uh, wait a minute, what's that? What's that? Eh? Yeah. I mean, this place is getting scary and scary. Eh? Sounds like a bear, man. I swear, if I get mauled by a bear, I'll hate you for the rest of my life. <laughs> story is that a man named Cotties was chased by Indians to the top of this rock and he tricked them into all falling off the rock. And okay, which rock are you talking about? This one right here. Oh, that rock? Wow, that's beautiful. Probably almost a thousand, two thousand foot drop. I could be guessing. Uh, even more. Close to it. Yeah, that's... We, we walked for like half a mile from the top up there. No, we walked from the bottom. Really? Or from the middle. Oh, you see, there are people on the other side. Yeah, there's two people fishing, I think, either that or yeah. fishing on here so it's spectacular. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead if you want to dip in, go ahead. It's too cold for me. Yeah. Too cold for me. This is the place where it's keeping Man, look at this forest. Okay, this is called bear country. No, no bear. So I'm looking for a bear. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm mauled by a bear, today is that is a uh, uh, F-26. <laughs> 2013. Eh? And this guy here is responsible. I am the bear whisperer. Yeah, he talks to bears apparently. See that rock right there? If I did that, I wouldn't be able to stop in the middle. This place is beautiful. Between two two mountains. You think? So so all the sound, whatever you do here, it just vibrates more and more. Yeah, it bounces back on these walls. That's really interesting. In fact, you can even hear people in canoes before they come around the bend. Yeah, I guess this is what we do in America for fun. <laughs> we go hiking. In places that are breathtaking. Yeah, it all depends on if your friends tend to be nuts. This is, this is a and this is one of them. This is the strangest trail I've ever been on right here. I, I'm trying to figure out even how to get through this stuff you here. Huh? What? We may have to just live here and call in sick. Look at that landslide. Look at that. I'm literally walking under the trees. Oh, look at that. Me, Paul, just hiking in the bushes somewhere. <laughs> He's it's, in the bushman. Yeah? That's the bushman. It's so funny how 
Some of these keep walking. Wow, look at that. And with a bear in my hand. This is West Virginia, bear country, and uh, we are hiking. So, I have this uh, big guy here in front of me who thinks that he can uh, wrestle with a bear. <laughs> His name is Barney. He thinks if he sees a bear, he will tackle it. I don't know if I share the same view, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely something to to talk about. And look at that beautiful. Tell, tell, tell me a little bit about this place. Paul. Well, once again, it's called the folklore. Is that a local resident was chased here by Indians? Uh huh. Outnumbered, he didn't know what to do, so he just kept running, running, running uphill. He ran up this hill right here. He got to this rock, didn't know what to do, ran uh -huh. around to the side of it, uh -huh. got up to the top, threw one big boulder down, got rid of one in. The next one came up, threw a hatchet at him, uh -huh. missed him, slipped, fell off. The okay. He was exhausted. He knew that Brave was exhausted, too. He looked at him. He looked back. He thought about maybe a truce, you know. Just went like this. And the Indian rushed him. And he ducked. Tripped over him. Rolled down the hill. Fell off the far side of the cliff. And was never seen again. He died. He got this 2,000-foot cliff. At least 2,000 feet. Uh -huh. But you can drive right here. And from here to the top... It's maybe a hundred yards. Wow, that's beautiful, man. This is breathtaking. This is probably like what? Because the river is like way down there. This is the highest I've ever been, probably. This is uh, this is amazing. The <laughs> the view is uh, breathtaking. Um, right now I'm in a. Whoa! Uh, uh, he's all right. Right now I'm in a West Virginia. West Virginia. Uh, we are doing a little bit of hike. Is this uh is this the tallest? Uh... I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. As far as I know, it's pretty close, probably to the tallest place in the state. But in the I don't state. know. In the states. Wow. We were just down there on the river, way yeah, down there. We were just down there. So it took us about, what, 40 minutes to climb up here? Yeah, we took it slow, though. Okay. Wow. We took it slow. Guys, this is it. I'm on top of the mountain. On top of the mountain. Yeah. Where you belong. <laughs> but uh, let's hope that... Uh, whew, this is bare country. Well, you know what they say about getting falling off a mountain? Yeah. It's not the fall... Uh, it kills you. Uh, it's it's the fear. sudden stop at the very end. Yeah, that kills you. <laughs> Be careful, buddy. Be very, very careful. Okay. Voila. Wow, I don't even know how I'm... <laughs> this is... Just take it slow, sit on your butt. <laughs> Slid on your butt, you saw. Oh, yes, look Jeez. at you, like a mountain goat. Or a mountain <laughs> lion. The lion of the jungle. <coughs> Man, this is... Okay, I think I this show is up it. everybody how high up you just were. Uh -huh. Down here. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Remember, every, if it's caught on camera, I can always uh, cash it in. Hey, don't push me. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, Paul. It's, it's, it's beautiful, man. 